Hello everyone. The today video is about Laravel Excel library. So first question arises that why we use this library, right? So we are going to use this library for uploading bulk of data. So if we have uh, smaller chunks of data like uh, 3, 4, 10 or 20 entries, so we can do this manually like uh, one by one. But if we have a bulk of data like uh, 100,000 or more than 3000 like this so this is a good way to import to uh, add them into the excel sheet and then import this sheet into the your project so this is very simple step so you don't need to add the add the records manually right so this is a very cool library so you don't need to take care about anything it will handle everything uh, through the models right so let's go to the documentation so documentation clearly described everything right so first you need to install this library so let's click on this installation and there is the requirements right and uh, this will work uh, 5.8 so if you are in a higher version so this will work for you okay and then the first command would be this one okay you don't need to do any command do any other command right so you need to copy this command go to your project terminal and paste this command and hit enter so it will install the install this excel library for you so i already installed this library so you don't need to do other commands it's only one command and uh, and you also you don't need to add this into your provider array because it's uh, added by discovery uh, discovery package right so you don't need to do anything just hit enter and this will add it into your project so i added this uh, for uh, uh, saving the time right so i added uh, in my composer.json uh, file i have this uh, latest version of 3.0 3.1 met website right so my library is installed so what is the next step in the first video we are going to import an excel sheet and in the next videos we will export them into the excel sheet right so now the time is to import this so let's go to the import section and here you need to click on this uh, five minute quick start okay click on it and this one is a command so after when you install this library this command is available in your project right so let's go there and let me clear this out because i already installed this so here you need to type php now, artisan make import right make import and then you need to specify your import name in my case i am uh, uploading books so that's why i'm naming this uh, book import so you need to uh, name this descriptive so you can understand it better when in, in uh, when your uh, project is going bigger so descriptive is uh, uh, mandatory key right not mandatory it's optional but uh, it's uh, uh, required uh, good things uh, required for developer right so if you are a good programmer you need to follow some conventions so and uh, then you need to put a flag and uh, call a model and then you need to define your laravel model so in my case i have a book model so let me uh, open the app directory and this we have i have this book model I, and i filled this uh, fillable property right so i need to add a uh, model equal book so let me check the command again it's import user import and then model is user that's it okay and then you need to hit enter so it will create import for you and yes it says import uh, created successfully right so you need to go to the app directory and in the app directory it's created a imports directory right and in the imports it's created a book import in my case it's uh, created uh, uh, the other three imports are there because i already working on this project right so that's why i created this book import for you for demonstration purposes so click on this book import so by default it will look like this right so it's uh, injecting here a book model where we define this here right so let's uh, scroll this down and here you need to define your column name so our first column database column name would be title so let me uh, open the database here 
and uh, not this one so let me give it a refresh so our books model will be appeared here so it's a discount shopping website so you can also get uh, some discount from this website so let me open this uh, discount shopping website and yes this is very cool website i designed this uh, for my clients and uh, this uh, website contain a lot of categories and uh, also have a lot of products so let's click on any category so it contain uh, a lot of products right so here you can check that uh, check these products because it's uh, related to electronics so uh, shoppings and stuff like that okay you can visit this website it's very simple right so you can search an item and it will uh, go through this uh, item right so let's uh, uh, go here and uh, uh, yes i think i introduced you that uh, with this so let me introduce you with the project so i created these two routes the first one is books right and uh, this book is opening the books dot index this one right and then i created the store and this store is in the book controller the first method is opening the view and then second is empty right and it's there is a request object okay so we created this import so now the time is to go to the next steps and in the next step we need to grab the column name and uh, then grab the excel sheet column right so in our case uh, let me go to the books here and in the books i have three columns right the author then note and uh, like that so go to the import back again let me close this controller so first one is title and how can i get the title you need to put a row this row right and then you need to uh, you can grab the first index of excel column right so let me uh, show it to you and uh, this is the excel sheet i uh, pasted c++ you will get this c++ and then when you type uh, next author and uh, here and you type row and then pre, uh, enter one so one mean it's a second column of excel sheet this one and then as well as third right so third one is a uh, note okay and uh, put this uh, note uh, here oops <laughs> let me make this two okay so I define these columns here, right? So in the next videos, we will also add the title at the top for defining that oh, this is the title, this is the uh, note or stuff like that, okay? So uh, we added this uh, here, right? So now the time is to uh, call, this, uh, call this import, right? So uh, in this case, we have oh, let me go there and uh, it is a uh, book controller yes this one okay and uh, this one opening this book start index so this book start index is a simple bootstrap cdn and uh, some uh, simple form uh, which is here right so this form is a uh, post right so i define the route books dot store which is uh, this route right so it's opening a store method and then I define an ink type, right? If you are uploading an Excel sheet or uh, uploading some files, you need to add this because it will, uh, it's allow us to uh, create a file object, right? Otherwise it will say us that file not found. So uh, keep in mind that uh, you need to add this stuff, right? And uh, then I added this CSRF token for token generation. So this is required for verifying that uh, the request is coming from the laravel application and then this is i added a file attribute uh, this is the file input uh, which is this one and then a button which is type of submit right so now the time is to click on this uh, store and let me return something here that we are receiving something right so return request and then you need to type all okay so give it a refresh uh, not we are not going to refresh because this is server side so click on this upload and yes we are receiving a token but we don't have any file okay let's go there and check that why we don't have any file 
so name is file and this one is a form control and this one multi -port and that but why it's not containing the file object okay let me check that again give it a refresh choose a file again let me choose this one and yes it still says an empty why so type name name is file so let me go there and check that file is there or not okay give it a refresh submit it again and yes the file temporary link is there so it's not displaying because this uh, there is in this is in the tempo right okay so now the time is to uh, save this into a variable right so let me uh, save this into a variable this one is a file okay and then check that we have a file or not if file so better way to check that if we don't have any files so it will throw the exception right so but for i'm doing this uh, administration purposes so that's why i'm leaving this okay and then you need to apply a try catch block here so you can catch the exception if the excel is not uploaded right so here you need to uh, call your import so like we created this book import so here you need to call an excel so this will be available when you install this package and then you need to call the import method and here the first uh, parameter would be the your import name so in our case it's a book import right my text reader is suggesting me okay click on this and then the, what is the next object so next object is your file name right so you can also see it uh, on the documentation so i want to name this like uh, uh, for this case i'm going to make this test dot xl x okay this one okay and uh, uh, in a, another uh, i will uh, replace with this time object because time is changing and if you are uh, importing multiple files you can do this right so why we are defining this uh, test dot uh, xlx we need to define this file file object like this okay and uh, here yes we define this so let me uh, add a catch block catch block for catching the exception okay you can also uh, add a php native exception right so it will catch any type of exception so you can uh, I will shoot another video that what are the native exceptions and how you can catch all type of exception. So exception and then this will ex ex uh, catch the exception. So let's go here, give it a refresh, click on it and it's going to submit and yes nothing shows. It means that it's added in the database. So let's go to the database. Uh, browse and yes it's added in the database so it's mean that title author name oh why it's opening this title author name because in the previous file i added their name at the top so if i add this file let me delete this stuff delete okay let me check that video size is increasing oh it's going bigger so let me cover this into the next video but uh, i'm going to up, uh, upload another video here so this video and uh, yes this one okay upload it again so now it's going to upload only uh, entries okay c plus plus bootstrap engineer okay it's not going to uh, because we don't have any uh, column names Right, so that's why it's not going to uh, grab the column name. So let me uh, define the column name. So this would be a title. Okay, and then this would be uh, what is the name of this column? So this one is the author. Okay, author, and then this would be a note. Save this note here, and then this would be a note. Make this bold. Make this bold. Oops. Make this bold make this bold okay save this one click on the download so it will uh, uh, now it will uh, execute these two ones right 
so let's go here give it a refresh and check that uh, click on this upload and then first entry is there and then it will upload second and third so now it's getting the uh, first uh, first this title author and notes so how to skip them uh, to avoid uh, like uh, avoid them into the save into the database it's very simple so this video is going bigger so i will cover this into the next video so stay connected Bye -bye.